Welcome to episode 8, or depending on how it's numbered, wherever you're watching it, uh, I guess it would be 7, since 1 and 2 are sometimes grouped together. But either way, so Dachi's arc is done, I guess. I really enjoyed it. I really liked her character, so it's kind of a shame to see her go. But uh, Ogi is still around, and is still really mysterious. It says Shinobu Male right here, so I don't know what that's about. I don't know what this is going to be at all, so... I don't know. Let's get into it and see what's uh, what's up next. So even though Sodachi is gone, I really liked that whole arc, several little arcs, and we're still in the same season, still Awari. So I'm still uh, I still have high hopes that we'll get some more good shit. Let's get into it in three, two, one. Which story is that? So yeah, Ogi, I, I expected I still still have some focus on Ogi. Eventually getting some answers. Just play along. Crab, snail, monkey, snake, cat, bee, phoenix, whatever the fuck that is. I'm sorry? All right, speaking in the third person. Okay, so uh, some, some Shinobu. All right. I have no idea at all what this is going to be about. Are we going to get another lyricless opening since it's about Shinobu and uh, I guess Maya Sakamoto doesn't sing? I don't remember the reason exactly, but yeah, we're doing it again. Um, no, no. Oh, okay. No, we do get we do get lyrics. We get singing. Definitely not her. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Shinobu openings are always fun. I'd have to go back to the other one. I think I like that one better, but this is pretty cool too. <laughs> God damn. That before. <laughs> yeah, that gets you in a mood. Shinobu male. All right, what the fuck does that mean? Bam. Nice. Got him. Yeah. Your scream in a, a moment of like that is probably not going to sound cool at all. I suppose that is, though, so maybe that makes up for your lame scream. Patella? Why? I suppose it is. It's close to Paella. <clears throat> it's a little, little knee caps. 
Never thought to play around with the words so much concerning your kneecaps. Nisi Oisin did, though, because of course he did. Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty, that's pretty close. I mean, if I could knee myself in the cheek, like from a standing position, that'd be something. Could do it right now, but. Hey! Flashbacks. Last time, when she was real violent with him. <laughs> wow. She knows what she's got going on. And she's fine with it. That's one thing that's great about her. Of course. Just all right. Are you worried? Damn. Jesus Christ. She will not beat around the bush at all. It's pretty suspicious, you have to admit. Damn. The evidence is mounting. What the hell is that? Yeah, now the real reason. They didn't, I assure you. Don't even need to know what it is. You, she doesn't know. You don't know. But she's gonna do it, I guess. Of course. Thank you for the offer. She gave up a book for you. That's serious. Don't know who that is.
Is this a real guy and a real book? I assume that's a real guy. Sidetracked so easily. Well, what you thought was going to go down here is very different than what we're actually doing. It's just the go-to. This is the place. Has she met Shinobu? Is that who he's going to introduce her to? Because this is Shinobu male. You never know. She's pretty attractive. You never know what's going to happen. Because she's the best. Wow. None? <laughs> How did you end up this way? Wow. Okay. And it... Have you... Maybe you should have asked that before telling them to come in. Although I guess they had the courtesy to knock, so... What the fuck is happening? Is this... is, a, is, is an armor man. She's just going straight for the attack. Be careful. Uh, did you win? Did you get him? Okay, we got him. We did it. Uh, threats disposed of. We got him. One punch. All it took. So some empty suit of armor just came. Uh, don't know what that's about. Yeah, this is my friend Dave. What is it missing? Of course you do. It didn't have any, like, weapons or anything, but was there a piece of the armor itself that was missing? So whatever was in it, did it just go somewhere else? Now we're going to reassemble the thing and see what was missing? That's good. Oh, can you? Uh, 
Okay, do you want it to move? Do you know what it is at all? What is it? It's moving a little bit already. Oh, it's just gonna put itself back together. I didn't think it'd be that simple, but it stayed on the ground for a while, so I was starting to wonder. Maybe we did defeat it, <laughs> but nope, it's back. It just took a little time, whatever it is. So what piece is missing? Yeah, I can't even get a full view of it all at once because they keep it in the shadows. Damn! Shit! She, she's going in for the attack again. She's not wasting any goddamn time. Uh, are we just going to do this over and over again forever? It reforms and I punch it. It reforms and I punch it. Nope, because it didn't go down in one punch this time. It is fighting back. Shit. What changed? And she's tired. Glad we have a lot, we have some Kanbaru in this arc too. Didn't expect that, but that's always good. I always appreciate that very much. Yeah. He like he got used to it after the first hit and now he's like defend built up his defenses against it. I don't know. And she got drained of her energy real fast. I don't know what happened. What the hell's this guy's deal? Also, is he CG? It looks pretty good. Maybe he didn't become stronger. Maybe it was just her getting weaker. Yeah. She must have been losing strength the whole time. Is it because she touched him? I'm wondering that. We got some black shadowy armor wearing vampire dude. Shit. This is interesting. This dude is serious. Shinobu, somebody, <laughs> somebody's going to have to do something. Kanbaru might be able to get back up. Damn, she's brave. She's not going to run. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, you didn't have to do anything. Thankfully, because uh, probably wouldn't have gone well. Why does it sound like Araragi? Yeah. I don't know if this is somehow like Shinobu's old partner dude somehow or some some weird shit going on. I have no idea what the deal is with this guy. Well, there you go. 
How is this happening? And now Hanakawa is involved too, though. That's cool. I did not expect utilization of this flame. Did not expect that, but that's awesome. Where is she? Not that funny. <laughs> okay, all right, dude. Calm down. It's missing its sword. Is that what you thought was missing the whole time? Just the sword? Yeah, because the building is kind of on fire. Don't get in an elevator when a building's on fire. Sure you are. <laughs> Do her this favor. Burning to death or suffocating, you know, smoke inhalation. Probably pretty bad. But, you know, you're with Araragi, and maybe you'll lose your virginity. Oh, wow. That's harsh to the girlfriend. <laughs> Where is she? The music is picking up the pace. Oh. What now? No, they just exploded. Are they okay? Oh, hi. Good job. You did it. You just beat the fire with a, a bigger explosion. <laughs> Well, that's an interesting start. There's a, lo there's a lot of characters involved. I don't know how this is happening or why exactly, other than, you know, him wanting the sword. But, yeah, that's that's interesting. Cool start. All right, I'm in. I'm down. I hope Kanbaru stays involved. I don't know if Hanaka was around. and She can just use fucking fire from the tiger abilities. Is that a thing? Now Yotsugi's here. Shinobu's off doing something. Again, and we're telling this whole story to Ogi. All right. But yeah, always great to have Kanbaru around. So much anime fan service is from characters like accidentally getting walked in on, and then they go, ah, and it's stupid. <laughs> or there, there's a character who's just a tease, but they never, it's just like the most basic cliche anime teasing bullshit. But when you have a character like Kanbaru who's just very sexually forward and is just like, yep, I know I'm hot. Here you go. Look at me. It's like, you know what? I think I will. Thank you for the offer. <laughs> I don't I don't need the the weird creepy generic harem self-insert protagonist walks in on girls all the time and looks at them and they hate it. This girl just wants you to look at her and it's like, "All right, you know what? I will respect you by doing what you wish." I'll do it. She's totally open about her hot body, and that's cool. Thank you for watching. See you next time.